Hey, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you this uh, really cool thing called the Bay Model. And it's an exact scale model of the Bay and the San Francisco Bay and the Golden Gate Bridge. And it was designed in the 19, late 40s, 1950s, before computers were around to show the tides. Because there was a gentleman, he wanted to convert the Bay Area to all these little sections of waterways with dams and so they constructed this to study the tides of the Bay Area to see if that would be feasible and it turns out um, it wasn't so this is a pretty interesting thing to check out and it is um, in Sausalito so if you're in the area come check it out there's no admission it's free to go in so let's go check out the San Francisco Bay model together. So right. here we are. This is the Bay model. Entrance. So uh, there was a time where they had you know, hundreds of people in here working because everything had to do was done by hand. So everything's an exact replica of the Bay Area so they could study the tides. And this is, I'm trying to determine where we are. Hmm. What, oh, Benicia. Okay. I got a video on my channel, Benicia. So if that's the Benicia Bridge, uh, out here is like towards Antioch and Discovery Bay. This is Soon City. Yeah, so that's Benicia here, Carquina Street. If you, if you watch my Martinez or Benicia video, you can see that. And then we're going to go out to Mare Island. And these are all depth gauges you see here. So Mare Island, as you know, is a military base, or was, and you can also see that in my Mare Island video. There's Vallejo. And uh, Marine World, or Six Flags is what it's called now. And this highway here, this red line, is Highway 37. And that leads all the way to uh, Marin County. And this is a um, place called Skaggs Island. This shows you the model and what it covers. Petaluma Bridge. Santa Fe. Should be Mare Island, Vallejo. I did a little research before I came here, and they said it took like almost 120 people when, back in the 50s to make the tides and everything accurate. So they had people operating water pumps and people analyzing everything. So this is a major operation, and this obviously was before the invent of computers. So. This is an example of uh, what computers, how they've changed our lives because it's completely dead in here now. Hamilton Field, that's in Nevada area. And then we got San Rafael China Camp. I did another video of that. China Camp and then San Rafael San Quentin this is the Richmond San Rafael Bridge and um, San Quentin is in this area here Corte Madera Creek is one of the pumps to pump all the water back and forth. Doesn't look like it's been used in years. 
Ah, Mill Valley. So I lived in Mill Valley for a long time. Uh, this would be Tam Junction. And then um, part of Mill Valley. It's a little disoriented because you're just looking at the water part of it. And then Rich says Bay Model Site. So this is where we are. And then Belvedere is across the way. Richardson Bay, Angel Island. And then look at here the Golden Gate Bridge. So make sure you check out my Golden Gate Bridge video on my channel too. I did a complete tour of the bridge. But also notice the depth of things here. So this is an accurate representation. A lot of times people wonder how deep it is under the bridge. It's pretty deep. Look at that. If you look at this and how shallow it gets, like Alcatraz, it's not super deep under Alcatraz and then San Francisco over here. But as you get closer to the um, bridge, it gets deep. And if you think about each one of these towers is 746 feet tall. I'm trying to think how many of those you can fit. I think you could stack probably five of those. So, five times seven is, what, 35? Um, so you're talking 3,500 feet below under the Golden Gate Bridge. That's pretty deep. Marin Headlands, I'm going to do a video of that soon. This shows a little bit about how they made this and built it. Pretty interesting. There's Muir Beach. I also did a video on Muir Beach. This is a great way of showing you where all my videos are, the Bay Area. Stinson Beach, and that's an awesome beach, which I'm going to do soon. And then the Bolinas Lagoon, I did a video of Bolinas also already. I dig the uh, paintings on the wall here. It all looks like they're all hand done, all these paintings. The clipper ships and whales. God, it's quiet in here. There's like no one. So, as you can imagine, growing up in this county, this is a major uh, field trip thing to do. So, I came here. Probably twice, maybe three times when I was a little kid. Elementary school. I think in middle school too. And back then it was pretty fun because it was working. It had like waves and tides flowing in and out. It's more of the machinery to make it happen. Um, but I don't think they use it at all now. It looks pretty um, quiet and desolate. Here's a pumping station for the water for the model. So they got this little interactive display thing here. Shows you the bay floor of the piers. Not sure what that does. Push to start, which I did. Oh, wait. It's a little video. Beautiful and rugged San Francisco Bay and the nearby Delta region are as diverse as the people who live here. This environment faces increasing demands as the population grows. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has the responsibility for evaluating the impacts of this growth and the effects of proposed water-related projects. Scientific studies are conducted by the Corps of Engineers at the San Francisco Bay and Delta model to provide information necessary to decision makers. The Bay model was built in the 1950s to test a variety of water projects. 
The most famous of these projects was proposed by a man named John Reaver, who thought that damming the South Bay and San Pablo Bay might answer San Francisco's freshwater needs. The model test indicated that this plan would not work. The Bay model is a scaled representation of San Francisco Bay and 17 miles of Pacific Coast. The Delta portion was added to the model in 1966 through 69 to study a series of water quality proposals. In all, 286 concrete slabs measuring 12 feet by 12 feet, each with its own adjustable corner supports, were fitted together like a jigsaw puzzle. Bay bottom relief was molded into the slabs and some landforms were constructed on top. The San Francisco Bay and Delta model is a scientific tool which simulates the bay's principal water movements, or hydraulics. It allows scientists and engineers to change certain variables, like reducing the flow of fresh water from the Sacramento River, and then evaluate the resulting effects. This is not a model, however, in the same sense that a model car represents an actual automobile. It's a hydraulic model, which is concerned primarily with the bay's water circulation. The real bay is relatively shallow, but the model requires an adequate water depth for testing. This affected the scale. Horizontally, one foot equals 1,000 feet, but the vertical scale is exaggerated. 10 feet equals 1,000 feet. In the model, time is also scaled. So this that, allows what I test said time earlier, to be the condensed. Bridge is wrong, a little but... less than four days of testing at the Bay model is equivalent to one year's natural activity in the Bay. The model simulates the tidal fluctuation, the rise and fall of the water's surface, the water's currents, and the mixing of fresh and salt water. It can also be used to indicate where sediments will circulate and settle, or the movement of an oil spill. Computer monitoring devices work to provide information on every major component of the model. Each device is linked to the system's mini-computer for hmm. test monitoring, data collection, Commodore storage, 64. and analysis. Scientists and engineers have used the model throughout the years to determine changes in water movement, which would result from projects like levees, harbor and channel dredging, or the results of reclaiming tidal and marshlands. The Bay model has provided information on waterway improvement projects and has assisted other organizations in the evaluation of wastewater management, saltwater intrusion, oil spill management, and other concerns. In order to maintain the integrity of our waterways and wetland environments, it's necessary to make informed decisions. The San Francisco Bay and Delta model is a reliable way for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to study the forces which can affect the bay and helps decision makers analyze the resulting impacts of waterway changes. This is a little interesting. It says, turn wheel one revolution to see the simplified depiction of one day tidal cycle on Earth. not working but he's supposed to push these buttons and a little light tells you where you are but I already know where I am so so this is the uh, you know Golden Gate Bridge we're right in here and we got these cool little models here hydraulic pipeline dredge and then this is a drift collector collects driftwood Debris dredge. Another dredge here. Actual pictures of the real thing. These are kind of cool. These are all the gauges. These gauges were located in the engine room of the Biddle, where they monitor the operation of the ship's power plant. So they're all different gauges for a ship. And the 
got this old placard here. It's kind of cool, 1947. The Biddle was designed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and built in 1947. You know, it's funny, I'm in here looking at all this stuff, and the, the internet has changed everything. Um, these kind of places are becoming more and more obsolete um, because of modern technology. You can ac I can access all this information on my phone. So, I just thought I'd share that with you because it is kind of crazy how much things have changed and it's only been 30 years but technology is advancing us so far in 30 years and it's this place will probably be torn down in another 20 years you know what I mean make way for some fancy houses and Sacramento Delta over there and Sun McQueen Delta this is kind of cool. They got all these coastal cleanup posters from over the years. It's like a timeline. I'm going to start encouraging you to go out. We have it like, it's like Earth Day. 2010. Frog baseball. Oh, they have like. Huh. Those are like obviously been digitally manipulated, but they're pretty bizarre looking. Some truth behind that stuff. That crab. Fish can. Cola bass. Sig egret. So yeah, they encourage you to come out once a year and spend some time cleaning up all the garbage in the Bay Area. I got a little laboratory down here with an ancient computer. And this is like a model built. So this is a town of Benicia, which I did a video of. This is Martinez. Martinez is here. And then over here we have probably Pittsburgh area. Richmond. There's more posters they have on the wall here. And the other side of the laboratory with some black and white pictures on top showing you what people did back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. And this talks about the technology that they use. This is what they used. A slide ruler. Calculator of the 1950s. The primitive printers. And finally, computer modeling. This tells you what they needed to do in the 50s to do this. Pretty interesting stuff. Now you can just. Um, do it a lot easier I'll tell you that some pictures I'm pouring the cement molds this is pretty cool it's a um, scale model of California in the mountains So, San Francisco Bay Area, this would be where the Golden Gate Bridge is. We're right in here somewhere. 
And then you got the, of course, the Sierras up here, Lake Tahoe. Mount Shasta. Kind of cool. All right, this is talking all about the different aspects of it. This old um, light blowing up things to make more things. All the construction along the waterfront. Building an instant shipyard. This is talking about, um, you know, after Pearl Harbor, it was, um, everything was in super high gear to defend the Bay Area because we thought <clears throat> with Hawaii being bombed by the Japanese, we thought um, San Francisco was going to be the next place. Thank God that never happened. I think I hear people. Showing you different uh, aspects, old pictures, and welders, training school, engineering science and management war training. And there's, uh, I believe, Rosie the Riveter. If not, she's looking like it. Yeah, I'm gonna do a, there's actually a museum of that, her over in Richmond, of Rosie. Do a video of that. And then the African American getting involved in helping the war effort, the construction effort. Average kids back then. And this was uh, Marin City. Marin City is. Um, Currently, and always has been, not the nicest place to live. It is like a housing uh, project type, if you can call it that, from Marin County. Higher crime rate. It has changed over the years, so I don't know if I'm speaking that now, but back in the 80s, it was kind of a scary place to go to. And more about the uh, launching of the ships and the war effort. So, different. Old pictures. You can see, I'm not sure what these badges are. An old bottle that was um, probably smashed on the ship. I don't know what that is. Paint, probably. Outfitting the docks. Old circuit breaker and a port in an engine room or a ship. I don't know what 
those do. These things look weird. I wonder what those are. Phase balance relay. That's what it says. I wonder what a phase balance relay is. Anybody you guys know? Let me know in the comments. And then this is cool. These are the controls of the ship. General Electric. They got all this caution tape around here because of COVID. Steering wheel, or there's a real name for it. The minnow would be lost. He got some pretty neat artifacts in here, I must say. Fatometer. Phantom meter? Phantom meter? Ship. We got models here. Built in nineteen forty three, ship there. And we got the guys in the Strasbourg with design. Working hard, engineering and design. My wife's grandfather was a, he did, worked on the nuclear subs in um, Mare Island and works on dredges too. He used to, when I go visit him, he'd pop in a VHS of old um, videos of his dredging. Those were cool to watch. They got a lot of neat stuff in here that you're not going to see anywhere else. Check this out. This model is cool. That's a merchant marine model. I think. No, I'm wrong. It's a tanker. Pretty neat though. Pretty good size one. Here's an actual article from the San Francisco Chronicle, December 8th, the day after we bombed Pearl Harbor. Historical monument. Remarkable shipyard located at this site and of its people. So this is a little like office here. A little poster. Bits of careless talk are pierced together by the enemy. And the guy's wearing a Hitler ring. Life magazine there. The Marin ship, 1942 to 1945. That was really cool. And this is, uh, if you look on the side, it's a depiction of all ships. And check this out, a piece of driftwood, and look what's in it. Propeller. It's embedded into it. And that's um, some serious force that did that. And this, I would think, would be like a Miwok Indian boat. Miwok Indians um, were all over the Bay Area back in the day, before we came along. Admiral Peaches. I'm not sure what this is. 
like some kids made in a school. I think they're talking about garbage around the Bay Area. This is interesting. It's a train set. I'm not sure. It's like, I'm assuming it's the Bay Area. Kind of neat. And talking about polluting, keeping things out of our waterways, keeping it clean. No dumping. And this is a little uh, model of the Golden Gate Bridge, 75th anniversary. Pretty neat. So that's it. You can see there is like no one here. Completely silent. And this is a big place, so it's kind of eerie in a way. There are some advantages of COVID-19. I guess this would be one of them. There's some of these um, places that are opening up are completely empty right now. When you walk out into the lobby, you get rainbow trout. Pretty cool. That was a good eating. <laughs> Sorry guys, but you guys taste good. Mm. This sign says, Welcome to the work fleet for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. So this is their Survey equipment and boats, catamaran there. There's a boat there, the Wildcat. And this one's like all stainless steel. Catamaran. Pretty cool. Looks like it goes pretty fast. What do you think? And in this place, uh, Sea Trek, you can rent kayaks, go kayaking. Be fun to do. And here's some old pictures of where we are and what's being built in the area. Looks like we are here. And this is the Bay Model. This one talks about the marine life. You got leopard sharks. Brown pelicans, harbor seals, there is a seal. sea lions. And this sign is all about people that sail. Sail, explore, and learn. And there's the kayak running place. Here's another sign. Take a walk around the bay. Talks about the bay and the bay model which we just saw. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the San Francisco Bay model. That was really kind of neat. Um, I wasn't expecting all that World War II memorabilia in there. Um, so it was kind of a neat walkthrough. I haven't been there in a long time. As I said before, I went in here um, uh, school field trips. But I'm literally talking the 70s and 80s. So it's been a long time. But to think about, you know, seeing all those pictures of this whole waterfront here. All this. Beautiful waterfront all being uh, involved in the building of ships for the war. So if you like the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Just go ahead and subscribe. Um, some comments if you want to give me some comments. And I'm going to be continuing to feed you guys some great videos of the San Francisco Bay Area. So thanks for coming along. All right, see you next time.